Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Medieval 2. Last time, we did the Whitechapel level, where Dan uh, had to set out to find Kia, and after getting himself a little disguised to get into the nightclub Nia, or Nia, Kia went into, the owner told Dan that she went out to the, uh, the clock tower, and she was attacked by the Ripper. Attacked and killed, I should say by the Ripper, as in Jack the Ripper, of course. With Kia's death, Dan couldn't take it, just couldn't take it, because a love interest, you know. Even though the professor told Dan that Palethorn's attacking the cathedral, Dan runs away into the sewers, and today we're just gonna... Oh yeah, and we got the blunderbuss from Winston, at least, so today... <laughs> Today, we're just going to move on, so... Hello? These guys will help us. Once we help them, that is. I wish this had a better targeting system. I got it. Okay, maybe the blunderbuss is a little better than I gave it credit for, but you gotta be careful, though. These guys, these little sewer dweller guys are important, as we're about to see. It's a statue of Dan. come to save us. Uh -oh. Well, Great One, you see, we were once a happy tribe, singing and dancing. That was until the great beast came and lured away all our women. Now the only song we sing is a sad one. We have lost the taste for battle and the will to live. Great God, can you restore our women to us? If you can, you will be well rewarded. It's the only way you can progress. So we gotta retrieve the women of these. Uh, the mudlocks, I believe they're called. Or the mollocks. So we got ourselves the golden shield. Excellent. Okay, so... Eh, the maze... The maze. The... The pathway to find and get around can be a bit confusing. One of these guys has to give in. Don't worry about them being knocked out. Got him. Okay. After giving the blunderbuss a second chance, it... It's... I gave it less credit than what it deserved. Oh, this. Don't worry, the water's not too deep here. Oh, okay. The moment you get Dan's head off... Yep. Get rid of him and get rid of the other one. Okay, there we go. I think I said this when we first encountered the... Uh-oh, I, I can't see well. I'm pretty sure I said this when we first encountered the little green uh, guys. But basically, if they get on Dan's head... Uh... 
when you have Dan Hand going on. Uh, you need to stay as Dan Hand, by the way, for this next bit. Yep. But if they latch on to Dan's headless body, it can, uh, you gotta switch around and you just gotta keep mashing X to get them off of Dan's. Get it off of Dan. Alright, let's go. Okay, so this puzzle. This water is deep, but not deep enough to kill Dan. So what you have to do is we gotta help get the Dan hand over there. So... Who the fuck is Dan? I don't know why... I don't know why that silence, my brother, don't know why he came in at that moment. All right. Get Dan over here. Don't mind that one pipe in the water. It gets its use. Nope, not quite. There we go. And there. Now, Dan can get on this pipe to reach the ladder here and there. And we can get our head back. Hey, hey. Oh no, am I stuck? There. What the hell was that about? I think I heard the spiv. Oh, no? Okay, keep going then. Well, the spiv is up ahead. Just saying. Oh, I've been looking for you. It may be time to see what the spiv's got for you. You might find it extremely interesting. Shouldn't you be looking at him, Dan? An item that he gives to a poster for free. Yes, I'm going to need to talk to him too, so... My god, there. I'm gonna need full ammo with the blunderbuss. Uh, I don't think I'll need to enchant it, but I will just in case. Okay. Oh. These monster things are just hard to get a hit on. Because its weakness is right there. I thought you could shoot them. I mean, you can, but it's not easy getting close and getting hit. So that's one of the women we've saved. We'll encounter some tentacles here as well. Well, don't worry. There's some energy vials you can use to fill up that life bottle. There we go. Just about enough. Okay, so the chalice. You want some of this? Okay, um. There should be a way back up there. There is a way back up there. There should be like a ladder or something. Or do I. I might have to take another way to get back up. Yeah, I think I have to take another way to get back up. No fall damage. Oh, nope. Don't go that way. That's the exit, but we can't go there just yet. Not until we... Yeah, not until we save the other women. Be sure to keep that life fountain handy. Okay. Like I said, if you don't know the layout of this level well, it can have a it can be a bit confusing on where to go. Oh, 
Now, out of curiosity and just wondering... Whoops. I think, unless I'm mistaken... Oh yeah, okay, I'm mistaken. No, I want to... Best to keep the blunderbuss so that my enchantment doesn't run dry right away. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, that's another one saved. Now we need to get on the other side there to save her. Just be careful because again, you jump, you take fall damage. Oh! See, I knew there was a ladder. Oh, don't do that. Please don't. Ah, oh, you stupid thing. You're going to make me lose my enchantment. There. Only two remain. Okay, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else in this pipe area. So, we got all the women in this area. So... The only spot left that we haven't tried. The only area left is uh, over here. Beyond this tunnel. Now be careful because again we're going to encounter more enemies. There we go. Oh, those things. Okay, we got him. Good. Now, just to save up on my, um... Yeah, just to save up on my enchantment for a bit. I'm gonna use the axe. So, uh, we need to use these guys to... Yeah, get pie that blockage but we need to need to wait a bit gotta wait until they go up to a particular patch of hay uh-uh not that one that's a good boy that one thanks another woman I'm hating the fact that it keeps retreating. Okay, I got it. There's only one left. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Got it. Now to get the other one. There. Okay. So. Oh, he was just in the right spot. Uh, that's where we need to go, I think. Oh, wait, no. It just circles us back to the, yeah... Okay, two empty life bottles. Hey, there we go. Now I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Excellent. Bust that open. Even though I don't have my 
enchantment on my sword. Let's see if I could do this with just the axe. Alright, I got a better idea, sort of. Damn it. This might work. It didn't even hit. Got it. Now if all the women saved, we need to find the chalice. And to do that, it's just in here. I think there's other little places in these things. If you like navigate through the right ones carefully. Oh, what's this? Here we are. Oh, we're back up here. I uh, can't go up there. Okay. Alright, well, we're done. We did it. I could have swore this was a bit of a tricky level, but I guess I was wrong. Alright, let's put my sword back and... Uh, let's see. Um, I'd like to go back to that life fountain. Let's see if I can at least fill up most of my bottles here. Okay, that one's empty. I can only hope that the next one can fill up my... from future attack. No, I have to return to the surface. How do I get back? Very well. I will return you to the water zone, where transport will be waiting. Here, take your reward. Some treasure. If I can see, thanks. Now what you're supposed to do is ring the bell to get the boatman to come over to you. But I need to find that other life fountain. Alright, that'll do. I'm pretty sure I can get through with just what I have here. Alright, well thanks, Molex. Thanks for the help, because I was a good hero. Alright. Okay, let's get out of here. Just ring the bell to get the boatman to come to you. If you try ringing it without saving all the women, he'll just shake his head no and be like, uh-uh. Alright, we're good to go. We're back at the lab. Professor? Professor? Oh, he's in his room. Can I actually... Dad, I had almost given up hope. We still have a little time left to defeat Paleform. If he gets the last page of the spellbook, then... Professor, what's the... Um, I don't know. Never seen it before. <laughs> It's a poster of one of my earliest experiments. The time machine doesn't work, though. Complete waste of time. I'm sorry. No, we must focus on defeating Palethor. I'm sorry about Kier, I really am, but it's too late to worry about her now. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I've been economical with the truth. I knew it was Palethor all along. 
We used to be friends. That was before the expedition of 78. Ever wondered how I got these hands? Well, it's all in my diary over there. But the machine, it, it's still at the museum. It's probably smashed, though. Anyway, I never could get it to do anything other than move through space. Like I said, waste of time. Oh. We have a goal. We have an idea. The time machine. We're going to find that time machine and get it working. Except we're going to have to stop here. The professor asked me to give you a weapons upgrade. <coughs> the magic sword. All right, Dan, you've come a long way. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yes, I will. So that will do for this episode of Medieval 2. Oh, man. I hope I don't get too sick by the time we get to the end of this. Because the last thing I need is to be really sick. Okay. Like I said, this will do for this episode of Medieval 2. The magic sword is just basically the broadsword, but permanently enchanted. Very powerful. Pretty good. One of my favorite weapons, as we all know, back from Medieval 1. So, join me next time as we look around the museum and try to find the professor's time machine and get it working. That is it, and I will see you guys next time.